Hey guys, and welcome back to another Terraria special. Glad you guys have been enjoying everything, and that I haven't alienated too many of you. Anyway, um, now that we have fought Cthulhu, at least his eyeball anyway, and we have taken a small little tour of my world, probably one that was a little longer than I had originally planned, but I hope you guys enjoyed that, I decided we'd have a little bit of fun in this episode. Now, the magic mirror I have that I showed you guys a while back, quite handy, and... I did not actually find it in any cave, or any of the floating islands, or anywhere else. As you can probably see right uh, off to the left side of the screen right over here, that uh, well, there seems to be a bit of a mine shaft going next to the dungeon. Well, it kind of is. So, I actually have been raiding the dungeon off and on, trying to see what I can gather up, and loot from the entire place without actually having to fight Skeletron myself, as he's another one of those bosses I'm feeling kind of scared of and don't want to deal with. Oh, you little evil thing. Um, I have dug way, way down here. I'm also wearing the Lucky Horseshoe again, just because it makes this whole process so much simpler. Now, one thing I do know before you guys go and give me 300 comments below in the section, that... You shouldn't be raiding the dungeon during the day, and for anyone who's not aware of why you don't want to do this, oh, this is gold by the way, of why you don't want to do that, well, let me give you a bit of, uh, ah, one of those things, not a gel. <laughs> give you guys a bit of a demonstration of why you never raid the dungeon during the day. As you can imagine, until you defeat the boss that actually is guarding the place, well, as the name implies, or as I literally just said, there's someone guarding the place. And during the day, he's a bit more cranky. So, let's see if I can actually show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, I actually don't need the light helmet, as there is no way I need a single weapon in here, plus the torch gives off more light. All right. Let's see what I can do here. Oh, here he comes. Ooh. That was Skeletron's head. Did you guys see how much damage that was? 9,991, if you didn't quite catch that. He always hits you for near max damage every time you go in during the day. So, yeah. We won't be doing that again. Now, in the meantime, what I think might be fun is instead spend a little bit of time exploring the caves nearby. Or at least the ones that I ran into on my way down there. So, let me go ahead and jump down to one of these caves and I'll meet you guys back in a second. Okay, here we are, very near to the dungeon again. Pretty close to where we died before. As you can see, here's that clump of gold I pointed out earlier. And no, I'm not collecting it. I have pretty much used everything... I, I've pretty much made everything I can out of gold that I'm interested in making, except for possibly the gold watch, but I'm not too concerned about actually picking that up. So, I will just say meh to the whole thing. I will, however, take some of these interesting jewels. They're almost as useless. Unless, of course, you, uh, you like lightsabers. <laughs> Uh, copper. <laughs> Alright. Well, that was a very tiny cave. <laughs> As you guys can see, I've kind of explored most of the area nearby. Uh-huh. Oh, why not? Let's find out what he wants. To kill us, obviously, but I mean... You little punk. Come here. Come. Stop it. There you go. See? Was that so hard? Let's see if I can kill this guy, too. The only problem with using the swords is you got the whole knockback effect. So sometimes they get a lot further from you than you would like. Water's still a little buggy. Even though it looked completely dry there, it wasn't actually. Okay. It 
looks like we actually have a little bit more cave over this way. So let's check that out. Uh, around. Uh, water is kind of annoying to work through. Oh look, a life crystal. Or a heart container, whichever you, you choose. I kind of like heart container. Sounds cool. Ah, uh, good. Some health. That's nice. And no, I won't be collecting that hard container. It's just going to end up wasting space in my inventory. And in one of my chests later on. As once you reach full health, which is 400 right now, there is absolutely nothing you can do with these. As cool as they look. So, as you guys can tell, I, I've gotten quite lucky with all of these. Ugh. Okay. A little trick I like to use to light up the water if you have to get it, if you have to do something underwater. Dig down a bit. Silly worm. Alright, what's going on down here? Oh. Nothing important. <laughs> Just a skeleton. Well, let's see, it is only 2 o'clock, and I believe there are another 3 hours in a Terraria day before night falls, so... I believe what I'm going to do is jump right ahead to the fun. Okay guys, change of plans. Turns out the Blood Moon is rising, so... I think this is a great opportunity to, for both of us to check out just how this little trap actually works. Now, you'll notice the zombies... By the way, these are zombies. I don't think I ever actually got to show you what those look like before. Oh yeah, something else I forgot. They can get in. Go away. Because they will actually spawn on the roof. So let me go ahead and solve that problem real quick. Hey, hey. No. No. You leave them alone. <laughs> Don't you kill my dryad. Took me six tries to get her in here. Jeez. There we go. Anyway, as you can see, everything tries to get in, tries to kill me. But they keep hitting the lava and splat. Splat, splat. And then you just run along, jump up, and grab all the loot. <laughs> yep, still spawning on the roof. Uh, this is actually only my third blood moon. Oh, okay, so zombies are the ones who drop those shackles. <laughs> Always wondered about that. Nice. Anyway, my third blood moon. The first one, I was way down in the caves and never really noticed any kind of difference down there that it was a blood moon or not. It was kind of a, just a, oh, kind of wish I was up top to experience this. Oh, well. The second one, however, was very interesting, as I was actually stuck in the corruption all night. I don't know how I managed to survive it, but that was one... I don't know. One... <laughs> one epic night. Just love the way they're falling off the roof and going splat! Hmm. I was kind of hoping there'd be more of them. Are they, like, all on the roof? Oh, yes, <laughs> they are. <sighs> Come on, guys. Over this way. Come here. Come here. There you go. Good job. See, what are we up to? That's not bad. Considering I only killed a few slimes off screen. Okay. Well, as you guys can see, this works out pretty well. It is probably the most effective way to survive any kind of blood moon. And based on the video's videos, it's a pretty good way to actually survive goblin invasions as well. Yeah, okay, here. There you go. Ooh, good. I do need more lenses, as I think I'm actually going to summon Cthulhu again a few times off screen and see if I can't get some more demonite ore. 
Um, something I don't know, maybe you guys can help me out with this, those of you who have played. If you have defeated Cthulhu already, but you're still past the 10 hearts... Wow, that was a lot of guys. <laughs> Will he still spawn randomly every night? Is there still a random chance for him to spawn at night, or once you've defeated him, that randomness, that random chance of him spawning goes away? Because if he can still spawn, that, that'd be cool. I can just magic mirror home and kick his ass again like we did last time. Come here, guys. Give me your monies. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm over here. I'm over here. Come on. Yoo-hoo. Hmm. Let's see. What are we up to so far? Four shackles. And where the lenses go? I'm sure you guys see them already. No, 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 no. Oh, there they are. Blind. Five of them. Nice. And we're up to 48. This is quite a lucrative night. And I've had to do practically nothing but run back and forth. Hey, look, another lens. Cool. Okay, well, since that's really all there is to this, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually save the dungeon looting and all that fun for the next special. So, I'm just gonna spend the rest of the night here having fun watching. <laughs> watching these guys kill themselves, and I will see you guys again in the next special.